What's up, everybody? Head Coach Robert Gray here with Victor Performance. We're on our phase four, week one, day one, strength and conditioning workout. So we're starting today with our quick feet complex. You'll see that video on your PDF. And our mobility and activation series three. So both of those are new warm-ups. So make sure you're looking at those on the, uh, the PDF or on YouTube, okay? From there, we're going into strength for today. So we have two strength movements. We have a rear foot elevated split squat with rotation and a bridge pullover. So we've done rear foot elevated split squats in the gym quite a bit, okay? Um, so at home, you're gonna need a chair, some type of, uh, maybe it's your couch, maybe it's uh, uh, an ottoman, uh, whatever it is, you just need to find something that's you know, roughly knee height or lower um, that you can put a, a foot on and feel some, some level of stability. Okay, so from here, we're gonna hold this weight in the goblet, okay? And as I go down, I'm gonna be rotating my shoulders towards my front leg, okay? We're thinking like maybe roughly 30 degrees on that rotation, okay? So I'm gonna take four seconds down as I rotate, and up. Four seconds down, and up. Okay, so we'll complete five on our left leg before going into five on our right leg. Once you complete a set of the rear foot elevated split squat, you're then into bridge pullovers. So we'll be in a uh, glute bridge on the floor. If you'd like to do this in a hip thrust position where your shoulders are supported by something like a bench, feel free to do so, okay? So from here, Hips are going up into our glute bridge. I'm gonna hold that weight up over my chest, okay? Big inhale as the weight goes back. Okay, this drill is about, or is uh, working, you know, kind of our, our lats, our serratus, some of our, our pulling muscles in our, in our upper back. Okay, um, it is important to make sure that you are moving slowly uh, in that end range of position, especially if this is a drill that you're new to or your first time giving it a, a shot. Um, if you are comfortable with it, then obviously we can add a bit more weight um, as we work our way through. All right, so once you finish your three sets there, you're going into your conditioning for today. Okay, so we have three rounds of our conditioning circuit, okay? Um, and we're going to complete this working through with two minutes of work, then followed by a two minute break, two minutes of work, two minute break, and you're just going to keep following that format until you complete three rounds of the written work. Okay, so the movements that we'll be doing starts with a yoga push up. Okay, so we're in our high plank position, full range of motion push up into your down dog position. Now, I want you guys to make sure that you return to your high plank for just a split second before going into the next push up. Okay? As opposed to something like this where it's like a free fall into the next one. Okay? Reset and go. Okay? All right, so we've got our yoga push-ups for 20, then we're into lateral overs. Okay, if you have a platform of some sort, feel free to use that. Otherwise, you can just do this without the platform. There is one, back is two, three, four, five, six, going to 50. Once you complete the 50 lateral overs, you then are into sprint to back pedal shuttle. Okay, going for five yards, so running, Five yards forward, plant, back pedal five yards back, plant, that's one, and I have ten of those, okay? And the final movement of our conditioning circuit is an alternating lateral lunge. We're going to do this with the weight in the goblet, okay, step to one side, step to the other side. Now. If you're unable to complete your lateral lunges, alternating and stepping out and in like I was, 
without keeping this leg straight. Okay? So if you can't keep that leg straight, what I'd like you to do is perform these lateral lunges with your feet wide. Okay, going for 20 or 10 per side. So again, we have three rounds of that work. Okay, and as we're completing those three rounds, we'll work for two minutes, rest for two minutes. Work for two minutes, rest for two minutes. Okay? Once you complete the conditioning, we're on to a mobility finisher. Our first movement is open the gate, close the gate. So find something to help stabilize you, support you. We don't want balance to be the limiting factor of this movement, okay? So got my hands supported, and then now I'm just gonna move very slowly through this open the gate, close the gate movement. Okay, the focus here is on getting that knee up and equal to your hip, if not a little bit higher. So past 90 degrees of hip flexion. Okay, so out and in is one, we'll do 10 on each side, okay? And then our final mobility drill for the day is an open book around the world variation though. So we're gonna be laying on one side. We're gonna have our arms straight. Okay, and from here what I'm gonna do is reach forward and then trace a big circle all the way around until I'm in my open book position. And hold for a count and then complete the same thing coming back. Okay, that's one. And I'm gonna complete 10 on this side and 10 on the other side. Once you finish your open book around the world, you are all done with day one. Good work.